Welcome back again to Bent Out of Shape, your metal art do-it-yourself resource. I'm Dan, Sue's behind the camera. Today we are going to talk about daisy pots and just daisies in general, being we had a bunch painted up. Um, if you like this kind of content and you want to tackle some of this stuff on your own, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. So this is going to be kind of quick and uh, short and sweet. I'm going to show you how we assemble this and paint it. So all we do is a couple, uh, a couple of stems, quarter inch round stock, weld some 5 16 nuts to the end of it, add some leaves. That's ready for primer. After I prime that, we're going to paint this one to look like this. And then we are going to assemble one of these daisy buckets. So hang in there. Couple minutes of primer. And you really can't put this stuff on too thick. You don't want runs, but you always start with it standing up and you finish with it laying down. So when you start the color, it's upside down. Okay, that is primed. I hope it stays standing there. Now we're gonna take the primed one and we are gonna add some color to it. So we start upside down, do some satin espresso for the brown. Just make sure the stems are good. green on the back sides of the leaves. Okay, so now we flip her over. And today isn't the best day to be doing a paint job. No, it's really not. But Mother Nature is not playing very nice. You just do what you can on a given day. Okay, should be enough brown. We throw a little green on there. And again, we use all Rust-Oleum products for our paints. It's just so accessible everywhere. Maybe not the selection we were used to for years, but they're getting better. They're coming back. Okay, after you got the green on the leaves, you may want to touch up the brown once more. And then we throw a little Joshua tree. That is discontinued. Oh, and the tip is no good. These tips do plug up, so I like to kind of save, save them when I can. Yep, that's hit the shot, so we just take a different one for the time being. So when I'm, when I'm painting a bunch of one color, I just go from can to can to can. I saved the new tips. There's no sense using new tips when you're just gonna use five cans of the same color. So that's how you gain tips for this kind of, this kind of situation where tips are gonna plug up. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get.
Okay, last thing we do is always clear coat. Oh, and tomorrow that will look like this. So, we take a daisy that I painted the other day and we take our Nova Flex caulk, which we peel the end out of it, squirt, squirt a dab in the bottom, and all that does is just keep the, the metal part, the stem part, to the bucket. I've got holes drilled in the bucket for drainage, but that keeps that like that. We add a little stone. So this could be an outdoor pot or an indoor pot. Yeah, it could be whatever you want it to be. And we always keep plenty of different kinds of stone on hand. Um, let's see, I think we're ready to put some flowers on. So these, all we do for the centers is we take little carriage bolts, paint up nut washer and bolt, paint the flowers up, put these together. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this glove so I don't get primer on anything. Let's see, that one's got white on the bottom, so we'll put white on top. All interchangeable, which is a great thing about how we do it. These can be taken off and touched up every year so they you get some longevity out of them because it's no more than 20 gauge sheet metal with a couple layers of paint. So, I guess I don't need to say any more about that. But you can mix these up. We make them all kinds of color combinations. But today you're gonna get a yellow and white. And a lot of times when we weld this together, we've got the buckets in hand. So these are spaced properly so they look right. Not that all of a sudden you're just winging it and then find a bucket and then it's like, ah, oh, they should have been taller or shorter. So that's the finished bucket. Um, and like I say, when we do a bunch of flowers like this, then we turn them into our, into our $20 daisies. A couple leaves, quarter inch round. So again, if you like what you see and you ever want to tackle something like this, it's, it's not difficult. You just got to have the right stuff. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it. We'll keep doing this. Thank you.